this video, we are going to show you how to import your IntelliJ project into a Git repository on Visual Studio Online using the Visual Studio Team Foundation plugin for IntelliJ. To start, you will need a Visual Studio Online account. To create one, visit visualstudio.com and click on the Get Started for free. Visual Studio Online offers unlimited free private Git repositories in the cloud. We have already created an account, so clicking on this button will land us in our account homepage. Otherwise, you will be taken through a few simple steps to create an account. Within an account, there can be one or more team projects. Team projects allow you to segregate the code for your software projects and apply permissions appropriately. A team project may contain multiple Git repositories. If you have any team projects or wish to manage your new IntelliJ code in a different team project, create a new one. When creating a team project, make sure it can support Git repositories by selecting the Git option in the version control dropdown. Now switch to IntelliJ and open the project you're working on. It could be a new project created in IntelliJ or a project downloaded from your Git or SVN or other source control repository. Click on the VCS menu and select Import into Team Foundation Git. This brings up a dialog which will prompt you to sign in. We have a link here that will provide detailed instructions on how to create an account. Click Sign In and enter the credentials that have access to your account and team project. Sign in successfully, you will be directed to the next page which will list the team projects you have access to. Select the team project you want to upload your code to. The code will be uploaded to a new Git repository with the name provided. The default name is the name of your project and can be changed. Click on Import. If your project is not in a Git repository, you will be prompted to pick the files you want to upload. You might not want to upload the files, for instance, under the .idea file since they will have user-specific data. The plugin then initiates the process of creating a remote Git repository on Visual Studio Online and uploading the code, including any Git history. To the Visual Studio Online account. The import can be run in a background since it can take a while if you have a large code base. Once the import is complete, you will see a notification with a link to the repository that will allow you to browse to the Visual Studio Online repository. You can start modifying and updating your code on Visual Studio Online inside the IntelliJ IDEA itself using the built-in Git capabilities. Visit java.visualstudio.com for more details and walkthroughs.